All right, Kenman here, and we have another surprise unboxing from Lanyard Man. I have no idea what's in here. He said I would enjoy it. It's not mine to keep. I'm just going to uh, check it out, see what it's all about, and then ship it back to him. But I'm excited. Have no clue what is in here. Let's find out. We'll get my new tall boy. Oops, there we go. All right, what is going on? And what? What kind of game are we playing here? <laughs> and another package inside of a package. Let's try this again. All right, excellent stuff. And <laughs> bag on the floor. <laughs> I tell you what, um, here we are. <laughs> I don't know sometimes. All right, this one here. Okay, what are we doing? Hmm. There it is. <laughs> Let's put this away again. <laughs> See where we're at this time here. Oh, we've made it. We've made it. There it is. And another bag on the floor. It was a triple threat on the bags. What do we got here? Okay, like I said, I don't know what's going on. GD Caliber. Golden Design Works. Well, you guys would be glad to know I still, I have, I've never heard of that before or them. Fairly exciting. What do we got here? Ooh, ooh, getting fancier by the minute. We got a little, uh, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, a uh, like a Velcro patch. Anybody know anything about this? What are we about to look at here? I'm not even sure. Okay. Knife. It's got a nice little cloth. And let's pull this out here. Golden. Golden Design Works. Couple stickers. Thank you for purchasing the Caliber. Your Caliber comes with a limited lifetime warranty. See warranty policy. Inspected 61024 recently. Inspected by B something. Mag BB, so it looks like Magna Cut. Fluted handle. All right. <laughs> I, um, uh, yep, yeah, this is new to me, but I'm excited. Whoa, yeah, mini bag on the floor. Let's soak this thing in for a moment. Looks like a button lock right there. Several opening options. Let's try one out. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that is something. And, wow, lefty. So we have a liner, or like that's a frame lock with a button. Okay, okay. Well, we already knew from the last five knives that a lanyard man sent me to look at that he likes, or he's a lefty, and he's sending me lefty knives. Look at that choke up spot. Burn. Wow. Kenman approved. So, yeah, this is bananas, dude. Okay, so says Mag right there. Um, looks like there's kind of a satin, like two-tone, kind of a polished or like brushed area right across there for that two-tone action on the blade. Um, so then there's a titanium with the 
the uh, fluted lines, this contour. It's got a nice contour to it, and then those lines going all the way across. We have the lefty pocket clip. That looks titanium. Obviously, it looks like everything's probably full titanium here. Look at that pivot with that, with, it's kind of a divot, like a little bowl, a little scoop right there. That is a cool look. Almost looks like a button. See how the button's got that same kind of scoop mimicked. So it's got that front flipper that works good. Oh, I was about to try to do a normal liner lock. <laughs> Full lefty. Oh, wow. This thing is just excellent. Okay. So, yeah. This is basically just an unboxing. First impressions. That button. Um, since I don't have all... I mean, I guess I got most of the information there. But I want to kind of check it out for a day or two and maybe do another video talk about it a little bit more wow <laughs> this thing is excellent what a great solid looking knife okay so it's like you've got your frame that drops shut flicks out oh see that i can let it drop to my nail i forget as a as a as a lefty, I can do that now with the left-handed knife. Oh, the choke-up spot is perfect. It's just huge. If you're going to do that, that's how I like it. Just You can get in there. Look at how much space is there. Nice, huge rack of jimps. Look at how many jimps. Those are just micro jimps. This is kind of a thin profile. Oh, wow. I apologize for my over joy. This thing is excellent, I tell you what. So it's it's fun to actuate it like that. That front flipper works good. You got the button. I'm used to buttons being on the bottom. I don't have any issues with the regular button lock being down there as a lefty. They work just fine. But when you get an actual thumb use or thumb actuating lefty button lock, I can appreciate the feel. It's like I don't even want to put it in my right hand. Well, see, I'm pushing against the liner. Can't. <laughs> Here's the uh, the issues that uh that it, oh, and I was pushing against the button. See, that's what a uh, what I I face. Oh, look at this. I can't. I struggle with my. Oh. Oh. Yeah, those are issues I have with certain knives that it's like, oh, I love this knife, but it just does not work in that hand. But man, now this. I could sit here and do this all day. I wonder how much this costs. Woo! Probably a lot. This thing feels super good. Um, okay, so I guess, uh, what was I saying here? The magnet cut blade. Uh, titanium. We have the button lock and the frame lock. Both left-handed front flipper, rear flipper, flick out, can you thumb that out, a little bit harder, ah, uh, it's because I'm pushing against the, there, I don't think I would ever do that even though it's one of the options, got that forward choil, this thing is just great, you enjoy these crazy unboxings where I don't know what I'm getting myself into, if so, hit the like button. Subscribe if you would like to see more. Um, blade is, of course, solid. No movement. Centered very nice. Ooh, look at that. So they had to cut out. See that extra little groove? I don't know how well you can see it down in there. But you can see how it comes up. But there's a little extra little notch right there. It goes into there. So I had to cut that. What? I mean, that's like precision fit centering. I tell you what. Um, detent. Boom. Pulls it in nice. Can't really get it to... Yeah, that flicks out. That's got a nice strong detent to it for a button slash frame slash... Yeah, that's cool. I mean, now you have that strength of that 
this frame lock in here just getting way in there like that but you also can just push this button and make it go wow that is great what an excellent design excellent stuff okay sorry I'm all happy joys Woo! what do we got this is eight wow it's huge I didn't even notice how large it was eight and five eights end to end blade is they could try to call it four but realistically it's three and seven eights with three and three eighths straight cut uh, cutting surface right there sorry huge handle four and three quarters wow this thing is excellent who's got one of these who knows about this company gd golden design works point eleven got a nice thin blade stock way out to there on that kind of sanded polished area Ooh. just under half inch that way and 0.95 that way full size knife big boy look at that choke up it's got a huge amount of space on there if I just get right in here you can still get some handle this thing is big I compare everything with the pyrites CJRB pyrites a nice EDC not quite full size you can see it's a good half inch three quarters of an inch smaller in the front and the back cutting surface maybe almost a half inch shorter as well good size comparison knife though that's why I use it um wow I did recently get the uh, Devo tall boy I was going to say that they had a similar kind of a look as far as the blade is concerned they both have that cutaway this the the tall boy is definitely a shallower cutaway um but they have a kind of a similar blade shape right mm, definitely loving the tall boy like i said it just came out when it sold out almost immediately great knife but yeah this thing here i don't even know there's just oh i need to weigh this sorry Let's get a weight on here. Boom. 4.17, a little bit heavier. 3.67 is the pyrite. So 4.1 and being, you know, significantly larger, it's not really that heavy for the size that it is. Man, who has a Golden Design Works or can tell me any other information about the company? I'm going to do some research for sure. Thanks to Lanyard Man for uh, sending me this for a review. Ugh. This is probably one of the coolest knives I've been able to handle. Yeah, I've handled quite a few. Um, nothing really on the major high end as much, but I've, I've got a few in there. This is going to go down as one of them, though. Man, it just is great. I'm going to sit here and mess around with this for quite a bit. Just the fact that that button lock slash frame lock, really nice action on that front flipper. Great feel. Woo! I love it. Stay sharp. We'll see you soon.